Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the highly requested Honey Herb Deep Conditioner. I'm using herbs like marshmallow root, slippery am, hibiscus, and fenugreek, and a new ingredient that I will introduce a little later in the video. For now, let's jump right into the water phase. I'm going to begin by just combining my slippery am and my marshmallow root into about two cups of water. I want to boil this down because I've used this before. I've used marshmallow and slippery on before, and they take a very long time to really get that gel consistency out of them. So I want to put those on first before I add the hibiscus and the fenugreek because I don't want to destroy all the nutrients um, in the herbs. I want to keep those in my product, okay? So I'm going to put those in last. So I'm just going to do the slippery and marshmallow root first, and I'm going to go ahead and boil that down um, until it gets to like a really nice jelly consistency. Then I will add the uh, remaining herbs and let those seep. And then I will have my completed water phase. All right, so now we're going to move on to our oil phase, you guys. We're going to add our oils, our butters, our waxes, our thickeners, which are usually um, alcohols. I use um, the natural, what are considered natural alcohols to thicken up the product and add just greater properties to your deep conditioner. Of course, I'm using my favorite emulsifier, BTMS 50, and then I'm adding my oil mixture in shea butter. I think... I use shea butter this time because I don't know shea butter can be heavy in some products but I think this is where it shines it definitely shines in a washout conditioner You're using a deep conditioner get all the properties of the shea butter and then you can wash it out okay so I don't know we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna melt down all of my oil phase and um, separate from my water phase as usual and then we're gonna combine them later on okay while we're working on that, of course, I'm going to go ahead and set my preservative to the side. I'm using Liquid Derma Plus this time, but you can use whatever you prefer. Anytime you have a water phase, you guys, you have to use a preservative. There are so many preservatives out there on the market. I will have a series that talks more about them. Um, but for this particular one, I'm not using a natural preservative. I'm just using Liquid Derma Plus because it definitely works. It's broad spectrum. It's going to cover all angles that could possibly go wrong with this product as far as mold bacteria because um dealing with a whole bunch of herbs and water you just want to be protected okay so i'm going to add the remaining of the herbs into this pot and i'm going to let it seep i'm going to put it on low heat because i just want to maintain the integrity integrity of these ingredients okay you can see that it's still not as jelly as i want it to be so i'm going to put it back on the stove and while i work on that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the extracts i'm using i'm so excited about it it's my first time really dealing with extracts but i really wanted to bring something a little extra special with this deep conditioner so where does the honey come in it comes in with the honey quat pf okay so this is where they basically have removed the stickiness of the honey and it just leaves the amazing conditioning properties of the ingredient. So you reap the benefits without all the stickiness, okay? So this makes it easier to put it in formulations like deep conditioners, leave-in conditioners and stuff like that and not having to worry about uh, sticky honey in your hair, <laughs> okay? Unless you're doing a hair mask, then you know that's not going to be such an issue, okay? You can add honey to a formula without using the honey quat, but the honey quat is just an alternative that you can use um, if you do not want to deal with it in that way, okay? So I was very excited to try this out, and I definitely will be using it in other formulations, okay? So we're going to go ahead and strain our water phase now that it is done. Um, I did not get it to be completely as jelly as I would like it to be, but that is okay, all right? Because it's going to be mixed in with um, other ingredients to make it creamier um, more of that deep conditioner consistency is not a huge huge deal I think it would be a huge deal if you were trying to make like a cut curling custard or some kind of defining cream then yeah you will want to um, cook this much much longer and make sure you get the, the jelliness out now um, don't be like me trying to strain this while it's piping hot <laughs> No, but seriously, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to keep my water phase hot so that it can blend well with the hot oil phase. If it cools off, I would have to reheat it back up to a similar temperature of the oil phase in order to emulsify them together, okay? And not worrying about destabilization. So this is why I'm using a tool. I'm using some cheesecloth and I'm just squeezing the mess out of this to try to get all of the gel out. And I have a strainer underneath just in case anything, you know, kind of came out of there. This way I don't have to cool it down and then bring the temperature back up, risking the integrity of my herbs. I want to keep them as nutrient dense as possible. 
Guys, look how potent this is. I was not expecting the hibiscus to shine like this. If you want a natural color, color it. Hibiscus is really the way to go. Look at how beautiful that rich color is from the hibiscus herb, okay? All right, now it's time for the emulsion, my favorite part. You guys already know I'm going to combine the oil with the water phase using my immersion blender, okay? And I'm showing you right here. I wanted to show you really quick. If you look at the glass, look how fast that is starting to solidify. So you have to move quickly when you're working with BTMS 50. It, it takes a long time to melt it down and it also it also solidifies really quickly. I wanted to show you guys that real quick because I always mean to mention it and I always forget. <laughs> so all right, so this is what I'm working with so far. It um, It's not as thick as I thought it would be using the different alcohols, thickeners and stuff that I used. I just thought it would be a little thicker. Um, without having to add any xanthan gum. I even put it in the freezer for a while, let it cool down, and it just wasn't getting as thick as I want. This is a beautiful conditioner if you want to just use it as is, but I just feel like it wasn't as thick of a deep conditioner as I would have liked it to be. I probably could have increased maybe my butters or used more of the thickening alcohols, but I just thought it was a little too much, okay? So anyway, I added xanthan gum, and I learned my lesson from the last one, you guys. I only added a little bit, okay? <laughs> one thing about xanthan gum, even though it's a great thickener, I just feel like when you're able to get the emulsion perfectly and get that beautiful consistency without adding xanthan gum, I don't know. To me, it's just a lot smoother and more beautiful. All right, so the only thing we're doing now is going to use the Immersion Blender to really, really work this in and make sure every single bit of the um, xanthan gum is hydrated and that there's no clumps or powder left. Alright, we are in our cool down phase, so it's safe now to add ingredients that otherwise would be affected by the heat i'm adding my extracts and i'm also going to add the honey quad at this point um you can add it during the water phase but like i said i just didn't want to take the risk i wanted to use it during the cool down phase so i'm going to blend those all in together and make sure they're very very smooth and yeah I really, really like this. I think it came out pretty well. Um, I did use this in my hair, you guys. I do not have the clips of that, but I did use it in my hair. Um, I did feel like uh, it probably could have had a little bit more slip um, to it. So um, I think next time I definitely will um, add the panthenol. In the original recipe, I did have panthenol in the, for this deep conditioner. Um, but the reason I didn't use it is because I really wanted to see uh, how the honey quad would work and how the slippery am and the marshmallow root would work on their own without using panthenol, okay? All right, another part of the cool down phase is of course the preservative. You just wanna check your temperature, make sure it's safe enough to add your preservative, and you can just add it right in. Or you can take a small little bit, put it in, mix it in with the preservative to check and make sure it's not gonna destabilize your product because some preservatives can be very, very sensitive, you guys. Sensitive to heat, sensitive to pH balance. Um, it can be sensitive to the amount of a certain ingredient that you have in it. So yeah, just testing a small amount is always just smart. <laughs> All right, the final part besides pH balance is, of course, your essential oils, using your antioxidant, which I'm using vitamin E, and then uh, any other uh, ingredients that you want to add during this time. I think I use some vanilla essential oil. Like, this product already has such a beautiful, rich herbal smell from the hibiscus and the fenugreek, but when I added in the vanilla with it, you guys, oh my god, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful smell. As always, I got my container from Amazon. I get this question a lot. Amazon, you guys, I get all of my containers right offline on Amazon. <laughs> so that's where I got this container from, and I'm just going to plop this right in. And that is pretty much it, you guys. What do you think? I want to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Definitely know, let me know what you guys think. What would you do? What would you change? What would you add? What would you take away? What do you like about it? 
you like the color i want to hear from you guys i want to talk to you guys um so yeah this is this is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did make sure you follow me on instagram twitter and all that good stuff hit the notification bell so you won't miss any new diys i love making diys for you guys don't be afraid to request 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 and yeah subscribe like and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much bye don't want the morning to come